My name is Alejandro Figueroa. Uh, I live in Savannah, Georgia, and I'm original from Venezuela. Why are you in Milan? I'm in Milan for a present in the Salon Satellite with our studio, Please in Touch. And it's been a great opportunity so far. <laughs> yeah, do you like the Italian design? Uh, I do like Italian design. Uh, I think it's a great experience, especially because Italian design influence uh, a lot of uh, other people around the world and this is like the center of design in any, every way, like fashion, furniture. Have you been in Milan or No, it's my first time here, ah, yeah. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of an adventure. <laughs> and you visit a lot of uh, exhibitions, events here? Uh, well, we're trying to, but it's kind of hard because the Salon uh, Satellite is really, it's really packed all the time. So we're pretty much explaining our pieces to the people that visit and we have like, we want to have like a lot of feedback, but we're trying to make a little bit of time to visit other stuff and have... What about uh, the color approach, for example, in your uh, design mm, I love bright colors, but especially for these pieces, I'm using aluminum, mm -hmm. so it's really metal colors. Uh, I'm using aluminum and brass, so it's basically like gray uh, and yellow gold. Uh, but I normally, I love putting like really bright colors on the pieces like turquoise, uh, olive green, uh, orange. So do you choose color before or after the shape of your design? Mm, it depends on the project. It can come before or after. I think it completely depends on, yeah, on what I'm developing and how, how it's going in terms of the development. Because for this piece especially, uh, the color is functional because I'm using aluminum to make it light. And I mean, I like to keep uh, pure shapes and the object to be as honest as possible. So I wouldn't think of painting the piece over, maybe anodize it, but I like to keep like, you know, a really, a really pure materiality on the object. Can you explain uh, your, for example, uh, your products in uh, Yeah, I'm presenting uh, two different lamps. They're called Jira. Uh, it's a ceiling lamp and a tabletop version. Mm -hmm. uh, the ceiling one uh, is basically a mobile that is always in movement. So the idea is to have the light um, changing in the space all the time. So as well, the object is changing all the time. So every time you enter to the room, you're going to have a different object that you have to rediscover. But as well, the lights in different points uh, are going to produce different shadows in the space as well and in the objects around you in the space. So it also encourages you to discover, rediscover the space all the time. And the second piece, uh, it's pretty much a tabletop lamp that is a really strong, um, it's kind of, of a Havoline piece uh, and it's in balance as well. All the pieces are pretty much in balance so you can touch them and they will like dance with really delicate movements and that's pretty much the concept of them. So do you like the movement? <laughs> yeah, I love the kinetics and it's something that you can interact with as well. You can come and you can just give a touch and the lamp is going to be, it's going to move really softly around the room. So I think it's a really nice piece to appreciate, you know, like while talking with somebody because it's, it does like really small movements and it's really delicate in a way.